okay dear students welcome to android practical 2 arithmetic operations so arithmetic operations are nothing but add subtract multiply and divide so as the program will exp expand to four to five pages now i have taken only one concept that is adding two numbers uh, here in the screen you can see there is a button add likewise you can add subtract button multiply button and division button okay now this is the screen where i have created my second project in android studio you can see the screen of Android Studio, I have splitted it. Here you can see the your project details. In Java, you can see main activity file as well as in the result file, in the layout file, you can see activity main.html. Sorry, XML. Okay. Here also you can see main activity where you are going to write your program code and as well as activity main whatever design you are going to do will be reflected here okay now see i have shown the output of this program first number i am going to enter 25 second i am going to enter 30 now i am going to add 25 plus 30 for that I am going to press the add button. Now you can see the value 55. The result is given. Okay. Now we can go for our project. Before getting into the project, I will show you how I started this project. Click on file, new, new project. Then select empty activity. Then go next type name of your project and i have given add numbers then check that your language is java another one language is there kotlin you have to select java and see that minimum sdk api 21 android 5.0 lollipop version is there okay Finish. your space is creating in android studio where you are going to get ready your project here is a tip from android studio so there is nothing to see this just close it here in the down you can see gradle configure projects gradle build model all the things all the supporting files are getting ready it will take time to load a new project okay the project name is add numbers so i am in the space main activity java if you want to go for design you have to click main activity xml this is the area where you are going to design your project I will make somewhat bigger here you can see hello world so first click it and delete it this is the workspace where you are going to work and this is the view space you can view your project okay now here you can see this button a small button named as view options select it click it and select show system ui now you will see the screen of your phone what model i am going to see in my phone the page is displayed here it looks like a phone and now i am going to see the activity main.xml code you can see code you can split and see and you can just see the design view 
just I am going to split. You can see your code. Automatically, there is nothing in this code. Now it is uh, just an empty code. What I am going to do is now I am going to add two numbers, a button and a text view where I am going to view the result. For that, I have to click this palette. In the palette, go to text, in that click number and just drag the number. Okay. Whenever you are implementing a item to your screen, you have to constrain it. Constrain what is constrained? I will tell you in the last. Now I have added two numbers, then I am adding a button, then just bring the button down, button is there and then again go to text, there is a concept called text view, just add like this, two numbers field, one button field, one text view field. Now just click on this, here you can see infer constraints, so what is a constraint, there will be a question. So wherever I am placing my items, it will be moved to the top of the screen. So wherever I am placing, it has to be there itself when seeing my output. So just click this. Now it is inferred. Click the second one. Again click it. Click the third one. Just click it. And see the last one. Just click it. Now your items is placed properly now you can see the code it has given the code automatically there is no need to create or type any code now your activity main.xml has been ready whenever you are just creating your things it will get ready okay now i have to set values for each and every item that i have added first one go to attributes attributes will be there in somewhere in the screen you have to search just click it so for the first one i am going to change the name calling name et num1 okay and just after typing this name just keep enter here you will say rename the button ref Factor, refactor sorry refactor button is there just click it now the name of this field is given as et num1 then go down there you can see hint h i n t hint there you type enter the first number just press enter whenever you are doing you have to give like this enter after giving enter you can see the code here you can see the code here it is inserted okay then go to the second one the same process change the name of the id now i am going to give the id as et num2 enter refactor okay now it is has changed and again go to hint in the hint type enter the second number just enter okay then go to button go to button change the id of the button as btn add enter refactor now it has been changed and go down go to text just i am giving add add enter now you can see the button is changed into add and again here you have to go and you have to see when i am clicking this button what is going to do when I click that button, I have to get the answer. So, check where is the click button. On click is there. On click. 
it is empty now after writing the code i will tell you what is there in the button okay now i am closing the attributes now my design is ready first number second number is a number field and add is, button is there text view is there now what i have to do i have to go to activity main activity dot java now it is empty already i have developed the code so just i will show you what i have typed so here i have think i have missed one just go back xml text view is there i didn't write the attributes so click the last result now we are going to give the name of the text view id that is i am giving as tv result enter refactor okay and text view is there just remove it delete it it should be empty text is should be empty okay now i have given the names of all the attributes now let us go to main activity dot java already i have typed because as there is no time i am just showing the code itself whatever i have typed it is given there first i have to set the variable so tv result is the part where i am going to see the result the tv result is a text view and et num1 is the number one space text et num2 i have developed this is et num1 this is et num2 and this is text view okay so what these two are these two are edit text so i am saying what type of event it is here i am going to edit my text these two are edit text and the last one is just i am going to be the text so here i have given the id of this one as et num1 et num2 and the last one as text view okay already only these two codes i am going to insert others it will remain same i am not going to change anything now i am coming here inside the override area i am going to type this three part first one when what i have to get tv result this is called as tv result is equal to find view by id which is a syntax r is the rational part of id test tv result is nothing but tv result area likewise et num1 find view by id r dot id this is a complete syntax this is a complete syntax when you type automatically it will come just enter et num1 so here i am fetching my variables type to a variable so tv result is a variable et num1 is a variable et num2 is a variable just i am initializing the variables after that i have to write this full code this is where i am going to write my program first one you have to type public void add number so what is this add number whenever i am clicking the button this process has to start okay it is a view just i am going to view so i am giving a variable v now i am initializing three variables n1 number 1 n2 number 2 result this name should be different from these three names okay because it is a local variable it will act only here okay what is n1 n1 is a double number so here is a complete syntax whatever i am getting typing will get as a string so double dot parse double et num1 dot get text dot to string likewise i have to type second line also number 2 that is n2 is a double so dot parse double et num2 wherever i am getting that value from field change it into a string and then here i am going to finalize the variable result is equal to n1 plus n2 okay i am i got the result because n1 plus n2 result is now hold by the program i have to display the result here 
so tv what is the name of this text will tv result dot set text string dot value of result whatever the value is getting convert it into string and place it down it is showing like that okay so this is the code i have given now what i have to do i have to go for my button attribute now you can see button attribute so where is my button where is my button just click it on click main activity it will show main activity add number so which one i have written in here add number just you select this on click of the button select the name you have given that name can be given by of your own no problem just select that now what will happen just finishing this you have to select the device and click run from here or in the down bottom deep down so now my program is ready it will load for 5 to 6 minutes now i am adding two numbers 23 plus 30 just see add now it is 53 the answer is given so it is a very simple program i have given only one part add suppose if you want uh, uh, subtract you add another one button write the same code here you add just a another one comma result i have given result you can give result sub result mul result div like that you can add each and button and you can just say n1 minus n2 n1 into n2 n1 divided by n2 likewise also result also you can create all the result types okay this is a simple program and i already have given your practical note you can see this codes in your practical form okay thank you for watching if you have any doubts we can clarify in the lab thank you so much for watching thank you